Welcome back. There's a new book about death. Rather than being depressing, it's meant to be empowering. Wait, Don't Die Yet was released to help people deal with the practicalities of death. Its author says people knowing their affairs are in order makes aging well a possibility. When 59-year-old Tina Kent died suddenly in February, it not only left her friends in shock, it was left to them to handle her estate because Kent had no family in Hawaii. Kent's friend, Dari Sunio, says she's still sorting through details. To go over and find the title to her house, her car, um, so many loose ends, so many things, so many things unknown. Sunio says she could have used a helpful guide, like the one retired nurse and local author Annette Cam wrote. Cam also had a loved one die without all his affairs in order. You think you have everything ready, but it's a myth. There's basically so much stuff that you don't think about. She put what she learned into a book called Wait, Don't Die Yet. And these are the nightmares that you don't realize people would go through until you actually live it yourself. Cam's father-in-law died in 2018, leaving behind a wife, but Annette was the one taking care of the practicalities. It was an overwhelming experience, and I kept saying to myself, I wish I had known this. For instance, the checkbook was balanced to the penny, but... I'm supposed to take over the finances, but how are the bills paid? Is it by check? Is it by auto pay? You know, is it paid annually, quarterly? Even simpler things. This keychain had like 20 keys on it, none labeled. Sunio says she and her husband have already acted on the book suggestions. We don't want to leave a burden to our kids. She says knowing their estate is managed gives them the freedom to feel they're aging well. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. Cam is sharing her digital book for free. There's a link on the Aging Well page of our website, KITV.com. Well, coming